Hello guys, welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. This is a re-upload of a video I did before and that is because um, the, this video didn't go down too well uh, simply because I didn't talk in it. A lot of you guys commented that you prefer me to talk in my video so I'm going to do a voiceover of this video and it's going to be how I set up a blue really tank race. So this is just a uh, washed river sand uh, we have approximately, I don't know, maybe two or three kilos in this guys. I'm winging this video as well so Bear that in mind, this video is sped up quite a bit. Um, so I'll try and keep up with it. This little tank is only about 10 litres, so it doesn't hold much water. And uh, I thought I'd redo this tank, try and make it a little bit more simple. Uh, we're going to put in some plants at the back, and we're going to put a big rock in the foreground that you saw me put in here. We have some crypts. I'm going to put these in the back. And I'm making sure that the crown is uh, pulled up right so the plant doesn't rot away hope that makes sense right we're going to go with uh, a few more crypts at the back and guys i am also going to add in some um, ada pellet fertilizer in here as well because I, th I think in a tank that is planted like this with no active soil that you will need to add something to the tank in the way of ferts or something eventually right so we're just going to give these plants a little bit of a boost let's get the third one in and then we're going to add in a little piece of wood. Wood is good in a tank. A little Anubias on the top. Which um, I wish I could grow more of. Which I'll probably do in another video. Here we have an Indian almond leaf. Which is a good indicator in a tank if uh, the shrimp are getting enough food. Filtration is simple. It's just a little sponge filter. With a mature a sponge taken from another tank. Right guys, I want to make this clear as well. When I set up my tanks, I don't normally put the shrimp in the same day because I like the tank to settle first. And then you add the tank, right? Because things like the rocks, the wood, anything you put in here can interact with the water and change things. Here are the ADA root tabs. Let's get these in. Pushed in just around the roots of the crypts. Now these plants will grow up over the top of this rock right so it looks like I'm planting it wrong here it won't you'll see eventually in future videos what this will look like as I said this is for my blue rillies these come from my painted fire reds I call them blue rillies because uh, the body is blue the flesh is blue right and compared to your red rillies the, the red on the outside and clear bodies my ones will be kind of red on the outside but they'll have blue bodies so I call them blue body, blue rillies we're adding the water here. This is just salt and mineral GHKH plus remineralized to I think it was 150 parts per million TDS. There it is there on the screen. And this water is aged, it has a little bit of prime in it as well. Which makes a nice difference. And as I said as well, this tank only holds maybe I'm seeing 10 liters. I think it might be about 12. Here we're turning on, turning on the filtration. I want a good flow in here because I don't want to get a lot of algae. It's always better guys to try and get your flow to go uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise so the, all the junk in the tank eventually makes its way back to the filter. Let's get that on. Let's get that power. Let's get that sponge on a little bit more than it is here. There's some Salvinia. I like Salvinia. I like that it has short roots. It grows reasonably fast as well. Trim seem to love it. We're adding rabbit snails with the 1B here. Mistake I noticed in the editing of the lettering. Rabbit snails are cool. They have young um, every month or so. So they won't overrun a tank as long as you keep on top of them. Isn't that looking gorgeous? What a beautiful looking tank. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more, then please do subscribe and like. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.